Hello guys, today we are going to work on this net torque problem. So what is the net torque on the bar shown in this figure? About the axis indicated by the dot. Suppose that F is 19 newtons and express your answer with the appropriate units. So we see that we have a bar and we have a dot. We have two forces at the edge of the bar. So the first thing is that we have to define torque. Torque is defined as R cross F. R is the position vector from the dot, that's the pivot, to the place where the force is applied, so it's to the edge. So we change from centimeters to meters. This is R, the vector R. And F is the red vector, 8 newtons. So we have two different forces. We're going to first compute the torque for the 8 newtons. We see that torque can be also defined as the magnitude of R multiplied by the magnitude of F multiplied by the sine of theta. And theta is the angle between the two vectors, between R and F. So you can see here that R and F, for the case of the 8 newtons, is in the same direction. Both are in the same direction. That means that the angle between them is zero and sine of zero is equal to zero. That's the reason why, for the force of 8 newtons, we have no torque. Now, we are going to compute the torque for the other force, force F equal to 19 newtons. We see that R vector is 0.75 meters, and F is equal to 19 newtons, but the theta that's between them is 90 degrees. So if we use the, the formula, 0.75, times 19, but, and sine of 90 is equal to 1. So by computing the formula for torque, we get that torque is equal to 14.25 newton meters. Since the force 8, the 8 newtons, is doing no torque, the only torque we have is equal to 14.25. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video.